late trial recruitment. Nice twist to that. So um, Ellen is here. You can talk to her. And then we have one outstanding question related to the genetic strains. As I mentioned, New York stocked the Seneca Lake. Vermont did the Lake Champlain strain. Both are brood stock. These are being evaluated by Ben Marcy-Quay. It should be here somewhere. Um, looking at the relative performance of the growth and survival of those two stocking strategies, either fall or spring stocking, as well as the genetic component of the Seneca Lake versus the Lake Champlain. Are there, there are genetic factors that allow one to reproduce better than the other? So we're looking to identify the parental population that contributes to the recruitment. Ben's using some fancy genetics to determine the origin of the stockfish and then the size structure of the parental population that contributes to the wild recruitment. I believe he's talking about that tomorrow. So go um, catch Ben's talk tomorrow morning to hear the details of that. So what do we do next? When do we consider ending stocking? That's been the big question. We are working to, to develop new indicators for when additional stocking changes may be needed. The indicator we had has been used and done. <laughs> Can't really go back to that. But we do need to wait a few years to allow these changes that we've made to work through the system to fully assess those effects. So stay tuned. We hope to have some more, more changes in the next several years. So I do appreciate your interest and attention and do want to remind you that this has been a large effort with a lot of different people involved. And I'm, I'm just happy to be working with such a great group of scientists on this success story.